Diego, he's only here, just, he stayed over just to, to do our show. And uh, first time here, he won a competition in Las Vegas for Best Male Performer. Uh, so welcome warmly to the stage, Naveed Maboom. Naveed Maboom. <laughs> Mark forgot to mention the real reason I am here is because, like everything else in America, comedy is now being outsourced. <laughs> True! <laughs> but you know, there is such a thing as a, as a karma, you know? And uh, as a karma, I'm not kidding you. My karma is that my daytime job as an engineer has just been outsourced off to India. <laughs> Talk about irony, you know. <laughs> so my, you know, I've got this uh, buddy, uh, Rajesh, you know, he's, uh, he's in Bombay, he's all concerned about my job getting outsourced. He calls me up, hey, Nabi, I'm really sorry about your job getting outsourced. <laughs> Listen, if you need any money, call me, okay? At America Online Customer Service, don't <laughs> Ma'am, are you laughing at the accent of the joke? <laughs> and I was curious how this accent would fare with an interactive voice recognition system. <laughs> so I call up America Online, okay? Welcome to AOL. Are you a member? Please say yes, no, or I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't understand. <laughs> Please say again. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I still didn't understand. Let's see if I have an account listed for you. Please state your telephone number. 858-449-1966. <laughs> Are you calling from Kazakhstan? <laughs> Oh, you are such a dumb machine, yeah? I'm sorry, I'm having so much trouble understanding you. Let me transfer you to a consultant. <laughs> Welcome to America Online Customer Service. <laughs> My name is Roger Adams. <laughs> sure, right, Roger Adams, and I'm Uncle Sam. <laughs> What are you doing, Mr. Uncle Sam? <laughs> no, dude, dude, I'm not Uncle Sam. Listen, I'm just joking. You're in, you're in Bangalore, India, aren't you? So I told you, uh, my name is Roger Adams, and from my accent, can you tell I'm from Boise, Idaho? <laughs> <laughs> now tell me, what is your login ID? Okay, it's, it's Naveed. One moment. Naveed? Naveed Mahbu? Dude, this is your buddy, Rajesh. <laughs> so good to hear from you. Hey, listen, my extension number is 127. We can now talk for free. <laughs> oh, man. But you know, uh, I'm sure there are a lot of it. It's a, it's a concern, okay? You know, it's, it's a pretty debatable issue about jobs getting outsourced. True story, that day this uh, Ku Klux Klan member shows up in front of my house and leaves a burning laptop. <laughs> you mean the Silicon Valley, man? That's like a never-ending sea of brown. It's like a never-ending UPS convention. <laughs> What can Brown do for you? <laughs> and you know the only way you can get away from us is to go to the well-being center of Dr. Deepak Chopra. <laughs> <laughs> but you know the reason we, you know, Indians, Pakistanis, Bangladesh, the reason we are taking away all these good jobs is because in our community we live by the Dell policy, D-E-L-L. We have to be a doctor, engineer, lawyer, else we are considered to be a loser. <laughs> and that's why the Minuteman now wants to build fences around all the engineering schools. Okay. 
But you know, speaking of Spanish, <laughs> Speaking of Spencer's, you know, I'm, I'm a first-generation immigrant from Bangladesh, okay? So I'm a first-generation Bangladeshi in the U.S., and I'm an engineer, I'm a comedian, and I'm a Muslim. So that makes me a very unique comedian. And I've got a huge fan base, huge! I'm, I'm not kidding you, huge. Wherever I go, they follow me. They, they are all FBI agents. Muslim, but that doesn't mean I'm a terrorist. Because I love America. For America, I will do anything. For America, I am ready to do jihad. <laughs> That's a joke. That's a joke. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't be cracking these kind of jokes because there's domestic surveillance going on now, right? So I call up my buddy Rajesh, remember, who works at AOL? So I call him up. Hey Rajesh, I've been watching America, they're shopping to Bala Bama, I've been shopping to Bala Bama, I've been shopping to Bombay. And then Homeland Security goes, Ah, Cobra, Cobra, there's a plot to bomb the bay. Fox News and all those people, you know. You know, they have, the people have, uh, some people are getting this misconception that Muslim men means four wives. Come on, married people, just, you know, I know it's going to be hard, but just make some noise, okay? Okay, married people. Okay, let me ask you this thing. I'm married too, okay? Four wives means four mother-in-laws. <laughs> Four mother-in-laws. Now that in itself is going to lead a young Muslim man to go and blow himself up. <laughs> the Muslim version of four weddings and a funeral. <laughs> so, you know, on a serious note, I blame the stupid terrorists for giving us Muslims a bad name and all these stereotypes. Yeah. Yes, that's right. And therefore, for once, for once, I agree with President George W. Bush when he says, I am gravely concerned that Hamas has won the Palestinian elections. However, democratic elections sometimes produces unwelcome results. <laughs> Outsource President Bush? <laughs> anyway, you know, I kind of circle back to outsourcing, and uh, as I said again, it's, it's a very, it's, a, it's controversial, okay? But it's also a direct result of a global economy that every one of us in this hall, wonderful hall, are breathing in every second. Everybody. If you don't believe me, here's an example. You see this black shirt I'm wearing? Sure. This black shirt? This black shirt was made in Vietnam, okay? Then, it was shipped on a Singaporean vessel with an Indonesian crew that offloaded at the Los Angeles, California port by Mexicans, then loaded onto a San Diego on Korean truck with a Japanese engine and a Guatemalan driver. Then, I put my Vietnamese shirt on, I get into my German Volkswagen, I drive down to the San Diego airport, I board an Airbus jetliner made in France, I fly down to San Francisco International, come down to this wonderful uh, theater in Mill Valley, I bring with me my Nokia cell phone made in Finland, bought with my credit card made in China, the transaction was processed in India by Apu, who I happen to no, and who you <laughs> and Abu, who used a Dell computer designed in the US, assembled in Malaysia using a microprocessor chip from Taiwan. And I want to see on this wonderful evening is this comedian from Bangladesh outsourcing comedy. <laughs> We are all breathing in a global economy. Got it? Yes. yes. All right, well, that's my time. You've been a great audience. May Allah bless you all, my friends. Thank you very much.